guys welcome i'm tasha thank you so much for stopping over i wanted to do my beltane ritual a little bit early this year i've been really thinking about it and i just feel like i need to do a ritual so here we are plus if you want to do this ritual for beltane this gives you a little bit of an opportunity to check this one out and um, see if you like it and hopefully it gives you some inspiration for your own ritual i'm celebrating from a year of ritual by sandra kynes and uh, if you want to do this ritual at home, all you need is some candles for the elements, an athame, a cauldron or bowl full of water, a coin. I'm in Canada, so we're using a loony. I use a bell. You don't really need one. Goddess and God candles, some decorations if you want, a chalice. And the ritual calls for seeds. I didn't have any, so I'm using slices of apples. Use what you have. Um, if you have seeds, awesome, use them. The ritual is sunflower seeds. Um, but if you don't have them, don't worry about it. Just use what you have. So just get comfortable. I'm going to read a little bit of information to you about Beltane, and then we will get started. So the wonderful words of Sandra. Beltane falls directly opposite Samhain on the wheel of the year. Both Sabbaths mark points in time when the veil between the worlds is particularly thin. The traditional bonfire on May Eve was started from a bundle of wood that came from nine types of trees. The bundle was wrapped with ribbons and adorned with flowers. The small smoldering piece of the fire was carried to each person's home to ensure summer blessings. The most widespread and enduring of Beltane rituals is the dance around the maypole. The tree for the pole is usually a type of fir with the top branches intact. In some parts of Europe, the branches were replaced by a Christian cross. Just the mention of the word maypole conjures up images of costume dancers weaving a spiral dance while winding red and white ribbons down the pole, raising energy for creation. Beltane is a celebration of the union of the goddess and god, fertility, new life, and resurrection. At this time of the year, the goddess's mother aspect is in youthful bloom. The phallic symbol of the pole represents the green man. May is strongly associated with the other worlds. Just as the veil between the worlds is thin at Samhain, so it is at Beltane, and the unseen can be seen. It's one of my favorite part things about Beltane. Just putting that out there. <laughs> the fairy folk are particularly active during this month. Watch for fairy rings of toadstools or flowers and leave an offering in the woods to make friends with them. May is also a good time to leave offerings at wells and springs. During this time, the healing powers of water from sacred wells is amplified. And in 2020, I think we could all use some healing water. The water of life is especially important at this time of year when crops are just beginning to grow. In ancient Rome, coins and other offerings were left at wells and pools, and the tradition continues unabated year-round at the Trevi Fountain, which originally honored the Roman goddess Trivia. Okay. So we're going to get started. So just take a deep breath. We're going to take three deep breaths, and I'll ring the bell. This candle is for healing of the earth and the world. It is Earth Day after all, so I'm filming this. Starlight, star bright, we call the fairies forth tonight. Come and celebrate with me, dance and sing, so mote it be. I look to the north, to Phalias, dark mother. 
rich black soil. Your fertile body nurtures the seeds of life. We call on your powers of creation. Be with us. We look to the east, to Gorius, star sailor. Holy breath, your clear blue skies smile on us and carry the lusty scent of life. Be with us. We look to the south, to Phineas, blue flame, light of the earth. Your warmth makes us dance with delight at the life that flows through our bodies and within us. We look to the west, to Marius, rainmaker, sacred dew, your gentle rains pour forth in life-giving wonder. Be with us. Prince Sun, Lord of the Dance, Winterborn King, bring forth your sacred seed of life. Be with us. Sweet maiden, lady of the lake, queen of heaven and earth, receive the sacred seed of life. Be with us. This is Beltane, a time to celebrate life, a time to create life. The Lord and Lady join as one. The Lord and Lady share the dance of life. The Lord and Lady share the kiss of life. I partake of the fruit of life. I partake of the nectar of life. Beltane is a celebration of the union of the goddess and god, a celebration of fertility and new life. The maypole, a phallic symbol representing the king and spirit of vegetation, is planted into Mother Earth to symbolize the union and balance. May is a month of special magic. Looking at the wheel of the year, you see that Beltane is opposite Samhain. Just as Samhain is associated with other worlds, so it is that Beltane 
is when the scene can be the unseen can be seen. It was on May Eve that the Tooth of the Danan, I don't know if anyone can really pronounce it, and if you can, help me, <laughs> tribe of the goddess Danu, arrived in Ireland. They later took refuge in the hollow hills and became known as the people of the hills in the Shi. We've all heard of them. We know them as the fairies. They are masters of enchantment, and in May their magic is strongest. Move then any other time of, more than any other time of the year. The waters of May are particularly potent, especially for healing. Even today, the Chalice Well at Glastonbury, England, the Colendon Well in Scotland, and many other places all over Europe are sites of pil pilgrimage for sp spiritual and healing purposes. Bridget, known in Ireland as Goddess of Fire and Inspiration, is honoured on February 2nd. She is also important at Beltane because she presides over water, holy wells, and healing. To some, she is known as the Queen of the Fairies. <clears throat> Tonight, the cauldron is filled with water to represent a holy well. The cauldron is a symbol of the womb of the goddess and place of transformation. Tonight, celebrate life and call on the power of fairy to add enchantment to your personal intentions. Fix an intention in your mind. It might be about love and someone you want to attract. You may call on Bridget for healing, or you may simply want to give thanks for the joy of living. When you are ready, take a coin and whisper to it your intention. Once you're ready, Drop the coin into the water and chant. So focus your wishes, your dreams, what you want to achieve or manifest on this coin. Holy well, enchanted land, take this coin from our hands. With our wishes now set free, make it real, so mote it be. So now we're just going to do some chants. We all come from the goddess, and to her we shall return like a drop of rain. Flowing to the ocean, we all come from the Sun Lord, and to him we shall return like a spark of flame. We will rise together, hoof and horn, hoof and horn, all that die shall be reborn. Corn and grain, corn and grain, all that die shall rise again. We all come from the goddess, and to her we shall return like a drop of rain. Flowing to the ocean, we all come from the sun lord. And to him we shall return like a spark of flame. We will rise together, hoof and horn, hoof and horn. All that die shall be reborn, corn and grain, corn and grain. All that I shall rise again. May our joy, celebration, and intention be carried out into the world. As above, so below. As above, so below. Sweet Maiden of May, thank you for your blessings and presence this night. Stay if you will, go if you must, we bid you farewell. 
Lord of life, thank you for your blessings and presence this night. Stay if you will, go if you must, we bid you farewell. Rainmaker, thank you for your blessings and presence this night. Stay if you will, return to Murius if you must. We bid you farewell. Blue Flame, thank you for your blessings and presence this night. Stay if you will, return to Phineas if you must. We bid you farewell. Star Sailor, thank you for your blessings and presence this night. Stay if you will, return to Gorius if you must. We bid you farewell. Dark Mother, thank you for your blessings and presence this night. Stay if you will, return to Phalius if you must. We bid you farewell. By the four great cities of the fairy realm, by the four powers from beyond, our circle is open but unbroken. May the peace of Danu remain in our hearts. In faith and unity, blessed be. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It wasn't without its hiccups, but that's how ritual goes. We keep it real on this channel. <laughs> so thank you for joining. I hope you like this as much as I did. And I'm just wishing you a blessed Beltane. And I'm thinking about you. Bye.